I don't. I only. I only read emails about deals. <laughs> That's right. Send, send me those de- deal emails. If it ain't a deal, I don't want it. <laughs> That's you deal. barely got that door. You suck. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shit talk this cat. I'm just shit talking this cat. I'll be very blatant. I'm shit talking this cat. Hey everybody, welcome to Dude Sweet. Dude Sweet. We're just shit talking cats. Yeah, that's what I do here. That's what I do. That's. I mean, I just shit talk my robot vacuum. That's just sad. <laughs> when I'm like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> type of quarantine right there. Yeah, the it's fucker. Like you shit talking. But see, here's my thing. You know me. I will defend shit talking inanimate objects because they're not actual things. They have no feelings, so it's fine. Yeah, dude. It's fine. Yeah. I don't know, it's man. Fine. I just I just read a book. What was it called? Ocean of Rust or Rust Ocean? Something like that. It was like a mm-hmm. post-apocalyptic where all the humans are dead and it's just robots. It's pretty sick. It sounds like that's going to happen. That sounds like an episode from, uh, what was that, the first season of uh, Love, Death, and Robots or yeah. whatever that was on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, second my, season was cool too i liked it my fucking robot vacuum i'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night and the robot vacuum's gonna be climbing up my bed I'm like, yeah <laughs> i must cleanse your soul <laughs> like a I'm dalek done. from doctor who exterminate <laughs> exterminate Roomba, my, name, Roomba. <laughs> my name is ian douglas terry and my name is brian keith nelson aka black Sicken thunder there it is there it mm-hmm. is mm-hmm uh, it's been a minute. It's been a little that's, bit. That's what we like to do, though. <laughs> we like to take like a month to build up some content. I think realistically, our schedules are just. <laughs> We're busy dudes. Hey, we got lives doing shit, dude. And this, that's I'm gonna kick off this episode by making a big announcement. Uh oh, here we go. It's big. Here we this go. Is, people, put your phone down. If you're holding your phone, you'll drop that shit. Don't if you if you stand yeah. sit down. If you already <laughs> sitting down, grab your cheeks. Yeah. Or just lay down. Lay down face down. <laughs> Whatever it's up. Face down, ass up. That's the way. Yeah. <laughs> I bought rollerblades. All of the sound effects right now. I'm putting all of it in right now. You get no hold on. You throw it to hands like you like you're doing a DX instance right now. I'm hitting you with fireworks. <laughs> We're gonna hack the planet. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. Now uh, I gotta get neon. I have to get neon green ones now. Hell yeah, yeah. Because I'm like this last for the past month. I've been extremely '90s, very very '90s. Like just super nostalgic. I've been listening to lots of Bush and Faith No More. Yeah, I, uh, funny, funny I, you say that. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I have a full Bush. <laughs> I'm in the '90s, fool. <laughs> oh, and like I've I've uh, got that remake of Resident Evil Two. That's oh, '90s. Nice. I played okay. through that, okay. uh, and then I was like, "What was I doing in the '90s?" I already bought a guitar so I can play Green Day songs. Check done. Green Day, yeah. So I was like, "I'm gonna fucking start playing hockey again." I'm there gonna you do go. It. There that you was go. like my passion before pop punk. Was I played tons of hockey, like ice hockey, rollerblade hockey. Mm-hmm. way into it had my teeth knocked out a couple times that was my shit but i gave it up i gave it up for rock and roll so i'm i decided i'm gonna go back and i here's what happened i got the full not the full gimmick but i got some knee pads the elbow pads because i'm like i'm old my health insurance kicks in july 1st i can't play games no nah, fuck that be responsible be responsible with that shit yeah. Got a stick, got some balls, got a fucking bag for everything. Because in my mind, I'm, I'm going to walk over to Mile High. I'm only like five <laughs> blocks away. I'm going to play some fucking... And just... you get there. You're expecting there to just be some pre-age teenagers over there playing. <laughs> and they just so happen to be one person shy. And yeah. you're like, hey, I haven't played this game in a while. But, you know, yeah. I've it's... still seen the Mighty Ducks recently. Yeah. It's basically the Mighty Ducks. And I'm Gordon <laughs> Bombay. But it's because in my mind... My hockey career. Yeah. <laughs> But I did get a DUI. (laughs) But, like, because I've been on, like, a big health kick, trying to, like, my Apple Watch and shit, working out, going to the gym, doing all this stuff. Be be active, be healthy, feel good. Yeah. And, like, I've been going for, when because I uh, remote work now, so I'm just sitting in this room. Mm -hmm. 
all day, which is fine because the second I get off, I go walk around the neighborhood. I'm looking at stuff. I go grab food. I'm all active. And I'm like, now I'm going to get off. I'm going to go play fucking hockey. I'm going to skate around. So the stuff comes fired up, amped up. I also bought tennis rackets and tennis balls. So you've always my, loved a tennis racket. Yeah. Yeah. So I have pictures to prove it. <laughs> I hit you with it yeah. on your, on your body. I almost uh, hit you with it too. And that's another thing I did in the nineties. Cause my dad was like huge into tennis. He still is. He still you gets beat tennis, your dad with tennis rackets in the nineties. No, he oh. would be, he was way better. <laughs> He'd beat the shit out of me. It'd be like fencing, <laughs> but so I got all the hockey stuff and I was like, you know what? It's 99 degrees out. I'm going to drive over there. I'm going to drive mm -hmm. over there. I'm trying to drive less, but you know what? I'm going to drive five blocks. <laughs> and I'm thankful I did because I would not have made it back. That shit blew. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, yeah, because you forget how to use those dynamics until you're using it again. Now you're balancing I... every time you try and stop. And it was move. also 99 degrees out. So that was like oh. a whole other. But I like I get the I put all the shit on ready that no one can see me that was my big thing i was like i don't want people to see me do this no it's this like is a solo mission this is a shameful thing i'm doing <laughs> shameful the second i hit like boom takes off i'm accidentally on like a slope <laughs> I start going. and at my ass i took the fucking brake off of the right skate because i'd never used it when i was younger mm -hmm. i was like <laughs> You know, you know what? That right there is the the very real, like actual physical embodiment of your every adult's nightmares. Just r randomly losing control. That's it. Yep. Just randomly losing control. And there's nothing you can do about it. And like my brain remembers how to how to do all this stuff. How to go backwards. How to do all that. How to pivot. Yeah. How to do all that. But my legs are just like, what? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Man, we haven't done this in years. What are you yeah. expecting us to do now? So it was like a rough 10 minutes, and then I kind of got back into the swing of it. So I'm going to go back. I did like half an hour. Okay. But then I had like the baby deer legs and had to – I was like, I'm going to fall because I didn't fall at all. And I'm like, I have to – The newborn have, calves? Yeah. Like I yeah. have to fall, but I don't want it to be that day. So Like the drunk girls who are tired of walking their stilettos after yeah. like they've been in them all night, and they're just like, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. So I'm not ready to hack the planet yet. I can't skate around town with my friends hacking right. into the Gibson. It's all right. If I was ever going to hack the planet, I wasn't going to be mobile on rollerblades. I mean, no, at one point in time, I was pretty cool on rollerblades. Like, I wasn't bad. I'd be skating yeah. around. Skateboards is what I couldn't do. Yeah. Which is exactly which is exactly why hackers, look at me, hackers was on fucking rollerblades and not skateboards. So that yeah, fucking dude. means rollerblades was better. Suck it. Yeah. S skateboarders never hacked. That's a known thing. I'm going to tell all you kids since we in the 90s nostalgia mood right now. Hey, guess what? <laughs> Johnny Tsunami fucking quit skateboarding. And what'd he go do? That's right. Snowboarding. He got off of that skating shit. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so, so I was all fired up and excited. And it did, like, mentally, it was like, fuck yeah. Tony Hack is... has nothing on Shang Tsung. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was all jacked up. And then I was talking to my parents, and my dad's like, oh, you're having a midlife crisis. And I was like, what did oh. you say, sir? <laughs> yeah, excuse but me. But he's like, yeah, you're trying to, like, relive your youth. And I'm like, god damn it. Damn it. He <laughs> got right. me. He got me. <laughs> I'm the Faith No More song midlife crisis. <laughs> it's not a bad midlife crisis. It's not. I'm it's not thinking like, back to better times, man. It's really thinking back to better yeah. times. I'm not trying to date a 19 year old. I'm not no. buying fancy cars. I'm just getting rollerblades. <laughs> You've learned. Your, see, here's the thing. That's where it's just like when the do it when when married men have the man cave because yeah. it's like this room symbolizes the last little bit of stuff. Yeah. That, however. I'm not getting anybody else's relationships, but the way yeah. I see it, that I am allowed to have. Yeah, they can put up their weird posters and stuff. <laughs> Me, whenever I get my house slash probably just RV because fuck it, I'd rather be, live a nomad life. I'm yeah. gonna do whatever I want with it. I'm gonna yeah. have everything in there, dude. That's the life I'm living right now. I got everything I could ever need. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah. But with working remote now, going anywhere is like the best. Like it's I'm a treat. stoked. I'm stoked. Where it's I'm a like, treat. I'm like I'm that going walk, to the fucking gym. Hell yeah! That walk to the park down the street now means something. Yeah, dude. Yeah, see, I'm still not gonna 
uh, walk and then rollerblade and walk back. I don't think that's going to happen for a while. I about fucking died. Yeah. Nah, man. Oh. You just got to build up that endurance. Yeah, dude. I was doing leg presses at the gym. Getting ready. Doing this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Since we have video, you can... Yeah. Now, now, now he looks like a weeble wobble. Anytime I do like a humping motion, you mm-hmm. got to get really wide hands for some reason. So it looks like you're humping like a giant butt. And like, yeah. <laughs> you look like a weeble wobble. No, oh, God. Those noises yeah. are a tad uncomfortable. That's what huh? it sounds like, though. Oh, that's what it sounds like, though. It's gross. Well, hey, no at least you're likes flexible. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's what you signed up for, ladies. Yeah, I have a topic. You're the only one who has ever has topics. I feel so bad. I spend time just well. You're I just, like, I just ramble. I just ramble. You're training your body to be a weapon. My body is a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep my body maintained That's to remain true. a weapon, and then also now use it so that way I can get back into my first love of acting. You're trying to sharpen your body because this motherfucking professional wrestling shit. As much as I love it, these goddamn people piss me off. Anyway. Yeah, dude. Anyway. Dude, I should come to the ring with you in your back. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> I'm, no, please do. I'd be so down. I'd be down. There's Gosser, no... Gosser Ian's coming out with me. Yeah, it's not just <laughs> continuity in that show. <laughs> no, come on, dude. Come on, no. <laughs> All come right. on, no. So here's – I have – the topic is two questions that I want your help solving. Okay. It's, it's like a Q&A, but no one sent Ooh. us questions. I yeah. just came up with questions to ask you. Man, I, I ask myself multiple questions a day. I don't, you know. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to tell you everything I'm putting in my body. <laughs> okay. Because it's a lot of stuff, and I'm starting to get worried that it's too much. This, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> this sounds like butt stuff. It could be. Oh, we don't no. Know. Here we go. All right. No, no, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to expect with you, but here we go. Yeah. Okay. No, so I'm an older man. Yes. That's that's known. A tad I'm, bit. I'm 27 years old. <laughs> I love it. I love that. I love that energy. I love that energy. I love it. And like a big thing semi recently is like I've always had a problem with caffeine. And in that if I don't have it, it fucks me up. Like it messes yes. me up. So yeah. that's how I know it's a problem. Like because when I was a young buck, it was fucking Mountain Dew. That's why I'm missing some teeth. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of fucking Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew. That'll do it. Fucking Surge. Uh, what other <laughs> shit? Oh, fucking. We used to do. Uh, it was an energy drink called Wild Buzz that came in a big liter bottle, which is. Wild high, Buzz? Yeah. Highly illegal. So much energy drink in a big bottle. And I would get that and vodka and mix it every weekend. Uh, so it's just like caffeine's always been like. <laughs> yeah, you've been literally trying to do it. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna we're gonna go through okay. all the supplements I take. Cause it's I think it's too much. But you think so? Okay. Well, I, I don't, that's I need your advice. You're okay. a man you're a man that takes <laughs> care of your body. Okay, okay. You're a man that's knowledgeable. <laughs> I'm not knowledgeable. I've we've we've gone over this that if I see something on the internet, I'm like, sure, I should do that. <laughs> yeah. And there's going to be some shit that is. I'm pretty 100%. sure we've talked that you would just order shrooms off the internet if you yeah. could. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. So, a lot of this is old man stuff. I have a pill case with pills in it for <laughs> each day of the week. You got to do that once you no, reach. Once you reach like 36, it's time to get the pill case. But if you're taking supplements, it even helps if you have a pill case yeah. uh, just to get through the day, where it's like, all right, I have to take this in the morning, and then I yeah. have to take this like midday and then i take this before i work out then i take this afterwards and then i take this before i go to sleep yeah yeah i think i just need to pare it down because i'm i'm in too deep and i'm doing a lot of caffeine but i'm getting like the best sleep of my life it's very confusing interesting yeah it's very weird okay okay let's let's hear let's let's hear this i'm i'm interested now all right i have it but i i still am We'll start with we'll start with the pills I take every day. We're gonna start on pills. Percocet. Yeah. Molly Perkins said, "Dude, doing Molly every day would rock. That'd be so fun." How quickly though would you fry out your senses from it though? Uh, like a week. <laughs> and then you'd have to go through that um, what is it? That like drainage where you basically your whole body's resetting, so you don't feel yep. anything for like what a week or two, maybe yeah. longer. 
until yeah. like because you because then you're just like you felt everything you could so much and then now it's just like you feel nothing for like weeks yeah. to recover yeah like not like you just get super depressed for like yeah because you fucking took all the happy all the happiness so quickly yeah. and then it went away and now you're like oh i have to go back to this job oh yeah. and i don't need that because i can make myself depressed thank you <laughs> i make myself <laughs> depressed every day i wake up i don't need chemicals for that what uh, day is it oh, i have to go to work <laughs> <laughs> all right so we got pretty standard shit okay I, but so the first thing is something that i read way after the fact is something i shouldn't be doing i take <laughs> fucking two ibuprofen every single day in the morning apparently okay. you're not supposed to do that apparently it can fuck up your stomach lining oh yeah because you're supposed to take it with food yeah you're supposed to take ibuprofen with food but we'll get into the power shake I do every day. That technically oh. is food. <laughs> Here you go with my logic now. It's like, all right, look, yep. if I have a shake. <laughs> <laughs> but th there's definitely stuff that I had to move from my AM pills to the later in the day yeah, pills because I was getting on. like fucking woozy. But, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Like if I don't take ibuprofen, I, I'm in pain. Yeah. Oh, like, I have to take a leave because if, well, a leave and then I need yeah. stronger weed out here because weed out here that anyone can really get access to is trash is that fucking swamp weed nobody wants that. no there's it's good down here but like i don't know those people and i'm not paying these oh. prices out here for that are you fucking serious yeah that's bullshit Fuck uh. i don't know just do yoga take a leave and be cranky <laughs> shit at least i'll save a thousand anyway anyway <laughs> we got, we got two ibuprofen i tried to pair it down to one yeah we'll see we'll see because then i always take some later yeah, I just got body pains. Especially, dude, last night uh, at the gym, I was doing all the machines. Like this, where yeah. my arm bends, hurt so bad. Ooh. And that's for jerking off. I can't hurt that. No, because that would get your shoulders before anything else. I do it like this. Yeah, if Way you injure, I'm, just a tip, if you <laughs> injure your wrists on masturbation, you might be doing too much. You gotta get wrist guards. Really, like I know you. I know everybody's <laughs> trying to do all that shit, but like, calm down. Come on, relax. Look at the carpal tunnel. <laughs> sixteen right. year olds and sixteen year olds going to the hospital. I have carpal tunnel. Yeah. yeah. All right. Two the ibuprofen. Dude, podcast told me to masturbate this way. <laughs> I've pared this down already. So two ibuprofen. <laughs> okay. A multivitamin. All right. Got to throw that in there. Got to throw it in there. Speaking of which, uh, I'm gonna take one right now. There you go. <laughs> And I wasn't taking those for a while, but I was getting like dizzy when I was doing yoga. And I realized uh, I was possibly like iron deficient because I don't eat like a shitload of meat. Yeah. So this is, I love, also, I'm not an expert. This is all my fucking weird pseudoscience. So please don't. Xander definitely knows some real shit. I don't at all. No, but also at the same time, yeah, there are things your body is supposed to take in yeah. and thinking like, preferably. What you are supposed to do is get every all the nutrients that your body needs naturally. Yeah. So you want to eat your foods or you want to consume them, yeah. you know, so that way you, your body can actually digest them. Supplements is just too – it's like for an additional help. It's for a yeah. boost. So it's and not I, meant to actually like completely replace anything. You also have to have a diet with it because then yeah. without it, it doesn't take effect. And so I'm only kind of doing that. So we got <laughs> – multivitamin. I'm just taking supplements. Yeah. Me. Multivitamin, 2 ibuprofen. A fish oil. Yeah, I get that fish oil, especially for older men. I yeah. think it's good for your heart. It's good for it's good for blood circulation. <laughs> and it has like the omega threes that are good for your brain. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get all that stuff in there. And then I take uh extra vitamin D. Okay. So, so in addition, because that was all COVID. That was a big COVID thing. They were like vitamin three or vitamin three, vitamin D. <laughs> deficiency was a lot of the people getting sick i didn't get covid so i think it worked <laughs> yeah i mean last time i went to my doctor he was like you're a little low in vitamin d and i'm like i'm in the sun all day yeah. what do you i don't get it i don't get it your body's rejecting the sun <laughs> i fucking i get tan i mean i even up my tan going kayaking but hey like it's bad because my mexican's like oh we can get darker yeah we can definitely get darker <laughs> I just turn super red and then it goes away. Uh, all right, so that's my morning pills. Okay. Uh, there used to be more stuff, but I've moved. Up. So multivitamin, yeah. ibuprofen, yeah, fish oil, and I think the only thing that's a problem is the two ibuprofen. That might be. 
Listen, at, I least, don't... at least in the beginning of the day, it might be. You uh, know, so many pro wrestlers from the 80s and 90s that had. Not Pain everyone Killer is Rick Flair, Ian. We've had this conversation. Not everyone is Ric Flair. I Not everyone's Ric Flair. That did pop into my head, though. I'm like, man, I might have a painkiller addiction. It's like, uh, ibuprofen's not what those guys are taking. <laughs> yeah, they, no. were, they were taking some real shit. There All was right. definitely more to it than that. All right, so after, take those pills, boom, boom. And then okay. we get we get into my, what should I call this? My, my go juice? my uh go juice yeah i'd basically do like a fucking supplement shake type thing what do you put in this supplement shake here we go none of these are sponsored okay <laughs> but all right so this is i got this shit sport protein okay mm -hmm. and why i got it so it's just protein powder but yeah. also it also has fucking beets turmeric and ginger in it there you go. Nice. Those are good all things. good for digestion. All good for yeah. the stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's maybe beets, what's cancer. Beets also help with uh, blood flow circulation. Oh, I need that. That's for my dick pills. <laughs> 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 so that might cancel out the two ibuprofen. So that, and then we mix in. This is the kind I have right now, but I'm going to get a different kind soon. You got the super greens, right? Mm hmm. Get all the greens. So it's basically like every vegetable you could possibly eat. Mm -hmm. and uh pre and probiotics because those are important there is a probiotics blind are important um get probiotics and prebiotics by themselves do not get probiotics with dairy because that basically just is counterproductive why would yeah. you have dairy which you shouldn't be having <laughs> anyway mixed with probiotics i don't understand it but hey whatever marketing yeah. do your thing so that's so i don't ever have to eat vegetables because it's all <laughs> No, but because I'm like, I'm going to cover all my bases. I'm going to get everything I could possibly need in the morning. And then if I do eat good stuff, it's just, that's all good. And then, mm -hmm. so I experimented with different pre-workouts because I was like, I'm going to drink pre-workout in the morning instead of coffee. A coffee is too acidic. It always makes me feel grody. Yeah. And I settled on one that was like, <laughs> not as, because listen, if you've never had pre-workout, people listening to this. It's it can be like cocaine. It, it can, can be intense. Be like... <laughs> it can be intense. The baited alanine in that will make your skin feel as if you are about to turn into the Hulk. Yep. Yep. And make but, it itchy. But this kind is super <laughs> chill. Mm -hmm. And it has weight management and mental focus. It's friggin' amino lean. Oh yeah, amino like acid energy. Yeah, it's real good. It's super chill. You don't get all jittery and shit. Yeah. So I do those three, and then we fucking take the apple cider vinegar and just dump a little bit of that in there mix it with water ready to go every day and i'm pretty sure apple cider vinegar is the thing that uh makes me never sick it's like the only thing holding back like <laughs> it's basically what kombucha is oh dude yeah. kombucha is basically half a bottle of apple cider vinegar and then the rest is whatever yeah the fuck out. i was trying to figure out how much caffeine this has Hmm. 130 milligrams so that's why like this that's is kind of good it's more like tea 130 is not too that's like is it not compared to caffeine because i don't know what caffeine thing. like i don't uh, really take it coffee's like 200 oh okay or two to three depending on the strength like energy drinks i drink like a rain when i have to work yeah that's like 300 gotcha so the days i work that's where we get into the danger zone because i do this yeah. uh -huh. and then i do a rain and then I got this shit for free from a fucking Instagram ad, and I'm pretty sure it's poison. <laughs> Probably. But it's, uh, maybe I'll cover up the brand, <laughs> even though it's, it's already slander. The, uh, the, it's, it's awesome though, but this is where okay. I'm like, uh oh. The, uh, uh oh. The flavor is R.I.P. Harembe. <laughs> So it's, know it's, it's Harambe. Harambe. Listen. How dare you in his death? How dare you? Yeah. And, it's basically just like straight caffeine and vitamin C and vitamin B12, which are all good things. Okay. So you, me, I just take vitamin B12 instead of caffeine because it, yeah. like I hate caffeine jitters and I don't want to rely on caffeine. So like if I really need it, I'll use it. But usually yeah. for energy, I do uh, vitamin B12. So that might be the move for me if I want to cut caffeine. Yeah. Just vitamin B12 will vitamin probably help. B12. I'm just snorting vitamin B12. Monster. But, 
Monster Rehab is pretty much that. Yeah, but there's so many things like this now that are like energy for gamers, and it's like, I mean, I get it, <laughs> but also, it's the Come same on. shit for the workout bros. <laughs> like, <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, it all just has a mixture of caffeine and flavor and yeah. taste. But if I'm like a little, and that's the thing, the big problem is I'll do all of this, mm -hmm. and then I'll get great sleep. So I mean, it's hey, like, if it helps you sleep, I guess. Yeah, but here's okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, not we're not going to get into my theory of how some things affect certain body types and are manufactured yeah. to benefit certain body types a different way. We're not going to get into my crazy yeah. theory here about that. But yeah, good for you. I'm going to grab my afternoon stuff. Hold on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! He's getting them hip. He's getting them hip flexors working again, so he can go skateboarding. If you just rollerblading, the, how dare I? You, oh, I should have roller. If I had the rollerblades on right now. <laughs> yeah, if you watch, if this goes on YouTube, you can watch me scoot. Okay. If this does go on YouTube, I apologize for the chewing, but I'm also trying to eat before it gets too late here. Yeah. So here's my afternoon shit. Number one, friggin' immune defense, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is like almost just taking another vitamin, but this is vitamin C, zinc, elderberry, echinacea, ginger, vitamin D, and turmeric. Okay. Because I was I, I deal with allergies. Mm -hmm. Friggin' the nice girl I'm dating got mono. Mm. She claims for me, but I've never had mono. But also, <laughs> I used to drink a lot and probably wouldn't have noticed. True, true. Yeah. So true. They gone, yeah. And she cured herself with just vitamin C. But I'm like, I'm not getting sick ever again. Hell but yeah! Th this is where I'm getting into. I think I'm just stacking the shit where it's like, okay, this okay. is too much. Okay. The up next, this says genius mushrooms. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are some mushrooms. This is for when I want the focus. I already have all of these things say focus on. That. <laughs> I do. I can. I can't focus on shit. I'm just gonna say you might be crazy. overdoing it. You might be overdoing yeah. it. Too many focus things. But this has cordyceps, reishi mushrooms, and lion's mane. So it's all mushrooms are great. All kinds. The hallucinogenic ones. The ones that are like this. Yeah. Big performance of mushrooms all i right, would here. say i would say just right now put the mushrooms one in the morning okay and cut out any of that energy stuff right in the morning oh, i should try that get some you might want to in the mushrooms do something so that way you can try and wake up a little bit more naturally in the morning so that way <laughs> <laughs> yes i see it i see it <laughs> but try and get something so you wake up a little more naturally in the morning yeah. and you don't feel like you have to keep trying to glide through the day as opposed to just wake up and then when you need that boost then you can actually yeah. hit it and it'll because i think yeah. i think the problem is i start don't out over stimulate with, yourself too soon yeah don't over stimulate yourself much. too soon because then you shoot way too high and then there's no way to really go down except keep racing back up i need to have my alarm clock like play like jungle noises and just gently <laughs> gently I'm just, wake you <laughs> yeah i'm just meditating okay <laughs> this is one so this, this one is going to be the last one I talk about because it makes me laugh super hard. But before bed, I'll do one to two ibuprofen and uh, my fucking brain drugs. What are those called? <laughs> Lexapro. Mm -hmm. that, I don't want to get sleepy. But here's the thing with Lexapro. It's been great. It's good. Keeps me nice and chill. But uh, it, I already had like a low sex drive. Mm -hmm. Se I was always like, sex is fine. It's whatever. Yeah. But I'd be like, let's talk As about Resident Evil does. too. <laughs> yeah 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 but and the, like a lot of those drugs also do that where they just kind of but uh so i decided let's try something out horny goat <laughs> this is horny goat weed <clears throat> this also oh, says man. this is super energy and testosterone booster oh god um one thing i take for that which i'll show yeah. you yeah some horny juice. <laughs> tribulus. It's called Ooh, Tribulus. Okay. Okay. So it's supposed to help with the uh, natural. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> Dude, this, has this has Tribulus in it. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Tell yeah, me. Read, read it. I want to know what yours says. 
Tribulus terrestris has been used for centuries in ancient Greece, India, and Africa to enhance vitality and vir virality. Recent research indicates that tribulus can support the body's free radical defense system, and preliminary studies suggest that tribulus may help, the, may help to promote healthy endocrine function and male reproductive health. There you go. Sometimes I take this before I like will work out to kind of get that like the little boost of everything. Yeah. And sometimes the blood flow really helps. This sometimes has... not the right places in public, but I mean sometimes it really helps. <laughs> Fully <laughs> at the gym. <laughs> Dude, this has so much stuff in it. So it's got horny goat weed extract. Mm -hmm. Which horny goat weed's just the funniest thing in the world to me. It's got maca yeah. root, got tribulus. Can't even pronounce that. Lots of different roots. Well, I'll tell you this right now. If you have it in powder form and there's a lot of roots and everything in there, more yeah. than likely it's going to be better for you than the synthesized made everything made into yeah. a pill thing. It's also going to be easier for your body to digest and intake. It will uh, di digest it a little bit differently. Supplements aren't meant to replace anything in food. So like, yeah. please actually have a diet with it. Food does help. Carbs are good, just in moderation, as everything <laughs> should be in life. Um, eating actually helps you lose weight. Starving yourself does not. Um, <clears throat> brother, eating, I don't healthy, eating healthy is a lot simpler than most people think it is. <laughs> like it really brother, is. I don't, I don't eat anymore. I just take horny goat weed <laughs> <laughs> and just rollerblade out onto the town. You know how I keep my. You know how I keep my body. On a daily basis, I ingest the horniest of the goat weeds. Yeah. So I'm doing all this shit without t talking to a doctor, and I'm 40. So it's like, but nothing's gone weird. Every It's just, it feels like too much. Ian, you already put the uh, vaccine in your body, so just start rolling the dice, buddy. That's true. That's true. The, my keys stick to my neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a real problem. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start weaning myself off of caffeine and go more towards vitamin B. I think that's the more good natural. Move. If yeah. you really need it, man, make some strong green tea and flavor See, with some B12 with, supplements. Yeah, I used to fuck with green tea. I think that this aminoline is green tea extract instead of what is it, taurine that all the energy drinks have or whatever. Yeah, that has all that like crazy shit in there where it's yeah. not always the best but that's i'm putting all that stuff in my body every day so i i feel like i should be superhuman right <laughs> i'm invincible I just go out. that's not how it works but i mean if we want to talk about omni man i'm down it probably just makes my pee real chunky that's all it does you get that chunky pee chunky pee chunky pee. you might as well just walk in because he's gonna see you on the bed anyway come on well, then come play over here. Come on. Oh, my gosh. All right. Are you ready for the next? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So here's the next scenario. Okay. It's, it's something I've been thinking about a lot. It mm -hmm. involves social media, your favorite thing. I hate social media. You love it. You are on uh, friggin' TikTok dancing around all the time. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, you know me. <laughs> Dancing on TikTok. Oh, I can still see you there. All right. Never so mind. this this is like <laughs> I think okay. it's Thank I think you. it's more like internet etiquette. Okay. And this kind of just lean like is like friendship etiquette and like because I've always had very weird social media, especially when I was drinking a lot. Like I was <laughs> such a fucking weirdo. To like me, I, would, I just use social media as like a hey, I'm just gonna spew out some ideas to you guys, and I really yeah. don't give a shit what you think. Yeah. Like in a perfect world, you're just posting things for like your family to see and be like, oh, that's nice. And then for that, but oh, so I used to just like delete people for like no fucking good reason. No good reason. Oh, and like, it got, we talked about this. It got worse when it came <laughs> to like around the election because it was getting terrible where it's like, what are, I can't do this with people. Yeah. Like there were people, and it, I think this was before you could hide and mute people on Instagram. I would just straight up delete people, right? Yeah. Was, I'm on record is uh, when I went through a breakup, I deleted every oh, single boy. person that liked a picture of my ex post. I remember you saying that. I remember you saying that. That cleared out half the dudes I'm friends with. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> this is what I'm running into now. There's people who I like a lot now that I'm at, I'm like, 
I'm finally done with uh, the whole comedy world. And mm-hmm. now I'm just like, I just want to travel and do fun shit. And uh, I'm going to become a vlogger. No. <laughs> I'll we'll become a travel vlogger. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> That's all we need is one more white dude but- going to like other <laughs> countries and being like, hey, hey guys, <laughs> like and subscribe. Yeah. It's dude. weird here. <laughs> Here's my travel to this whole other country. Did you know that this sauce is spicy here? <laughs> Did you know they don't have Outback Steakhouse here? <laughs> Then but, you uh, accidentally do some sort of re like you try and reenact something of theirs and accidentally comes off racist. <laughs> so that is like, oh shit, now he's problematic. And I gotta go and vouch for you. Like listen, I swear he just does shit sometimes. We I I'm going to Costa Rica in October. I wanna watch what was that movie, The Ruins, where those white teens go to the jungle and get sucked in and killed. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna watch that right before I go, so I'm ready. But I'm also going to a place that has sloths. Ooh. Like baby sloths, like a little sanctuary. Anyways, okay, back to the social media situation. Yeah. I would delete all these people. And there's people I want to be friends with and interact with now. And, like, they don't know I deleted them. They have no clue. No clue yeah. whatsoever. And I, there's not a way that I can soft re-add them. <laughs> it's going to let them know. They'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah, wait a minute. Because I know just this would, this is what would go on in my head. They'd be like, yeah. what the fuck did I do recently? They'd think it's recent. And I'd have to be like, no, this is like four years ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My ex-girlfriend's butt. You like that picture? Yeah. I was going through some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Or just random. Dude, there was – I don't remember where I heard it. It was somewhere. And it was a uh, – why would you be friends with people like friends, internet friends, if you'd never want to like sit in a car with them? And it was like, yeah, I only want to have like my actual friends. Yeah. But, and and I definitely did go through and delete every picture of a white dude holding a microphone. <laughs> so I was like, we don't, I don't you even know remember who the know. fuck this is. This is someone I met on a tour. They're probably a nice person. See, I, I cut all these people out of my life. Some deserved mm-hmm. it. Some didn't. My question to you is, is there a proper way <clears throat> to re-add them without it being weird? Um, first of all, my issue with social media is because people put too much stock into it. I think you should be able to add somebody without them like making a big deal of it. If they make a big deal of it, that should more so that's like on them. Yeah. And I think that's part of my like neurosis is I'm, I I analyze everything and I'm like, well, "Well, you try, you try and come at it from every angle when sometimes it's more just like, yeah, I deleted you for whatever, but look, you're back on. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. And it's sometimes people don't even care. They're like, oh, we weren't friends before? Cool. Whatever. Like, yeah. See, people, that's, that's I what think I people mean. put too much stock into it. Like, hey, regardless of what they say about numbers and fans and all this other bullshit, especially if it comes yeah. to the entertainment industry, I think it's all stupid. It yeah. doesn't it doesn't mean anything. Just because people are following you following you doesn't mean they support you. You can have millions of followers, you can have thousands of friends on Facebook. How many of them are actually coming out and supporting you? So if you want to use your social media for your legit close, like, knit group of friends to be like, hey, we don't talk every day, and I don't want to obnoxiously just text people random shit because everyone has stuff going on. But if you use this and I use this and there's something cool going on, I'm like, hey, guys, this is something cool that I'm doing. Yeah, because I – there was a point where I had like thousands of Facebook friends and it was just like, who the fuck are all these people? But you were also on? networking at the same time too. Yeah. Like and it wasn't was just friendships jumping between different worlds. Yeah. Cause like, it was these comedy, are the wrestling, music, are, yeah. all of that. Yeah. But I, th- so two points. Number one, I have beef with my niece. <laughs> she has 10,000 Instagram followers. Oh uh, no. That listen, Okay. I love, and I how love, old is your niece again? I believe she's 16 years old. And this isn't One, because I had a feeling you're gonna say that. Yeah. And this isn't because I'm a bad uncle, it's because I'm fucking terrible with numbers. I forget my own age. <laughs> Constantly. And it's 40. It's easy right now. But anyways, she has because it she my mom did bring it up to me at one point. She's like, it, I won't say her name. Your niece has so many followers like a lot and they're all like arab guys and i'm like well that's the internet 
the internet's a lot of arab dudes especially for young ladies yeah um no judgments it's it's full full of a lot of people like hey you want to fly over here to uh dubai so i can pee on you for like ten thousand dollars but and listen like i love her she's my niece yeah i care about her but also fuck you you know (laughs) (laughs) like what i i had to work my ass off to get to almost 2000 okay oh, the vanity i love it i had it. to work so fucking hard. i had to schmooze i had to listen has she opened for bobcat goldthwaite not no she has not <laughs> she has not did she do multiple shows with rory scovel she I'm has not did she? she she has not she just plays sports <clears throat> and is a cool kid but you know what she is and no offense and nothing personal to her but she is a young white woman and Hold i swear up. young white uh Oh, pump your brakes. Oh, am she's, I wrong? She's mixed race. Okay. Keep, keep in mind, okay. my, my sister's husband is Mexican. Yeah. Okay, but what what is her complexion? They're, how light, how fair skinned is she? They're, they look, okay, see, they, now you're trapping they, me. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm about to say, they look Mexican. Nope. I was about to give you some bail. I was going to say, are they like a little, People, are they like Italian dark? I feel like, they have like, like a little tan to them. Yeah, and they're like in Louisiana where it's all just like white conservative people, so they probably don't even know. Okay, so but, but anyways, I, will, I will stand corrected. I will stand corrected. Yeah. This mixed but probably yes. light complected young woman. Yes. I'll take Of course. That. Any I feel like any woman like that who any anytime you hop on instantly you're gonna yeah. get ten thousand followers. It's gonna be spam bobs, it's gonna be creepy. I don't try and get followers, and I get followers all the time. Yeah, because like trying to get followers is the lamest thing in the world. Ugly. Yeah, I hate it. But it did piss me off. <laughs> but then I'm also like, I don't do anything anymore. Like, why? Yeah. And also, who care? the fuck are half these people? Yeah, exactly. But, um, don't put stock into people you don't know. And then also, too, again, just because they're there doesn't mean they're actually like supporting or anything. There's it's also crazy, like it's online. People follow people just to like pictures, which is fine. There's also I might have brought this up before, but there's a part of me that uh, like I'll post something and it doesn't get a lot of likes, which doesn't it, d- hold on. It doesn't matter. I'm like, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But part of my brain goes, oh, you used to get like, yeah. you oh, used that. To. oh, that whole thing. No, oh, no, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I used to, I didn't get shit. I like. It was usually like a picture of me and someone I was dating would get like shit loads of likes. But no, also at the same time, you got more engagement out of stuff because you were also engaging more. Yeah. So you're also with it. You're also getting what you put out of it. Like if you're going to put a whole bunch of like negative negativity and comments and stuff, you're going to get all that stuff back. Same thing. If you're only really engaging and posting stuff like actively engaging then people are going to engage back but if you're just posting something here and there then it's the same thing like and it's yeah. it's not even like a subconscious thing it's just all these algorithms and what they're showing is most popular that's why you see people constantly posting especially like on instagram people constantly posting yeah. stuff, constantly posting something that's just slightly different that was posted two hours ago now they're posting it you know now yeah. and then in four it's hours like you can put post... one post with all those pictures but they're doing that to stay on top of the algorithms oh. the more you post and the more engagement you're getting on each post yeah oh look yeah. let me let me go try on uh my future summer outfits now it turns into potentially 10 posts two s- pictures each trying on an outfit in two different stores or two just different dressing rooms in the same store Should who I try- the fuck knows and guess what that is still getting them engagement because they're going to comment on every single thing oh. and you're posting every few hours. Yeah. That's what it's all boosting it based off of. Like what, how did people think YouTube was free this whole time and they made money? You thought that they were just making money for, because, <laughs> Oh, somewhere <laughs> there's a few people subscribing. No, every single time you typed YouTube, they got yeah. a cent. Every cryptocurrency has been around before this cryptocurrency was getting made when you would click on links <laughs> in YouTube and shit. And when you watch videos that would then go to them getting digital, currency for yeah. your views and that's how they profit off of it like also just- how much dogecoin does my niece have none <laughs> none do you have that's dogecoin right. i did i sold that shit though <laughs> i made so much money did you yeah well to me so to much you. money yeah yeah yeah. no i kind of thought about jumping in the dogecoin then i was like no i'll just I'll, I'll tinker with his bitcoin and some stocks a little bit 
I could have made a lot more if I would have sold right before that dickhead was on Saturday Night Live, but oh whatever. yeah, <laughs> I got, I got the AMC stock that's burning up, baby. Oh, is it? My whole thing is like I put in like more money than I was comfortable with, which I'll just be straight up. If I put fifty to two hundred dollars, that's too much. Like that's what? Oh no, I'm right there with you. I've invested yeah. more than I thought I would, but then I see some of it. I'm like, yeah, I've spent more on on shit that wouldn't even play out, and and long term, most some of this stuff looks yeah. like it. I could at least, at the very <laughs> least, I'd I'd make a couple bucks at the very least. But so I told my total of spending was two hundred dollars, and that was some Doge coin and some AMC. Yeah, I made eight hundred. Off Dogecoin, nice. maybe a little less, and then right now that AMC's at where I'm going to make about eight hundred dollars. Allegedly, in case the IRS is listening. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, I got this. Is <laughs> I feel like you would have the exact same response to this because my parents were like, "Yeah, I got another check from the IRS. I've already got my taxes back months ago, right? I already yeah. got my stimulus. It was just a check for a big chunk of money, and I'm like." What fucking trap is this shit? This is a trap. Like I'm Wait, not... <laughs> so you got all of your money from the last payments and stuff, right? Yeah. I got everything, right? Already. So I'm looking at this check and I'm like, I'm not cashing this. This is Did a... you did you potentially like this is if this gets a little too businessy, I'll edit this out. Did you potentially pay some tax shit with like Crom where you might be getting reimbursed for stuff now? <laughs> we never pay any taxes. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> They could come find me for that crumb shit. That we lost money, man. <laughs> no, that's they'll, true. That's true. They'll, they'll be like, "You made." <laughs> I did make a bunch of Canadian dollars and brought it across the border. Is that? That's probably an issue. I mean, I don't know if it's illegal, but the Canadians might be disappointed in you. That's true. It wasn't. It wasn't enough to buy a fucking Xbox. I'll tell you that much. But uh, fucking. Where? <laughs> Oh, so I get a letter. This is our fucking government, right? This check just shows up, and I'm like, there's no explanation, nothing. Just a check for, like, two, play for two PlayStation 5s, roughly. Jesus. Maybe a little less. Okay. But, so it's like, that's a lot of money. Yeah, so what is this? I'm not going to get trapped into, like, how the state of Nebraska thinks I owe them a bunch of money. I'm like, no, I fucking don't, you liars. Yeah. But, uh, you can go get that shit. Go collect it from the corn. Yeah. Come to Colorado, <laughs> fight them for it. Uh, but the next day I get a letter and it's because I was on unemployment for that 90 days. Apparently mm -hmm. they took way too much. Oh, and so wow. that was like tax back from unemployment. Oh, Ooh. nice. But Ooh. I was sweating. I was like, what the fuck do I like? I'm going to cash this. And they're going to be like, no, you dickhead. <laughs> like, but anytime anything good happens, that's my response is like, Hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, no, I mean, it's very, very reasonable to be skeptical yeah. of anything you get from the government. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I don't trust like, them. We don't not trust that them. I'm definitely not anti vax, but I'm still like, like the first generations of a game console. I'm going to wait till they figure some shit out. I'm going to just wait till they figure some shit out. Then I'm going to go get it. Trust me. I'm going to go like, get it. But I'm just going to wait till they figure some shit out. You're not going to pre order any video games. No, you're going to wait no, 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 until no, no, a year later no, when that no, no. shit's cheaper with all the DLC. I don't pre order next gen. I wait a whole year until <laughs> they get to the second generation of the next gen console. So that way that's all worked out. And then there's some like, you get the special edition bonuses or you get the combo packs with all the yeah. DLC. That's me. That's me. Yeah. That's me. So, I, it, to me, it doesn't matter if I get the shit brand new. All that matters is I enjoy the shit when I play it. I can continue to play it. If I can save some change on oh it, I'll wait. Gosh. I've been patient That's, before. Dude, that fucking Resident Evil 2, it was only 19 bucks with all with a bunch of DLCs. That was the way to do it. That was just like this um Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Edition and um Injustice 2 Legendary Edition that was on sale, both of them together with all there DLC. I was like 45 purchase, Boom. purchase, purchase. So should I, just re PS4. should I just re-add these people? <laughs> and also, I'm not... Keep in mind, I'm not friends with my niece on the internet. I'm not. It's fine. I, it's fine. We're, not, we're not friends like that. It's fine. It's okay. It's <laughs> Hey, sometimes family is just like... We're family. Family, also, family can be such a weird thing, too. Because it's like, I don't know who you are yeah. as a person ever. At but we're family. Yeah. So it's like, I don't expect you to really be terrible to me. Yeah. And Sometimes like, that doesn't go bad, but I mean, in general, it's just like, hey, 
and nothing listen her mother is anti-vax and deeply conservative no no don't say her mother that's your sister (laughs) oh i do not have a sister (laughs) i'm just playing i love my sister she's great she just has dumb friends family's Uh, just frustrating family's because it's like i just because you look at it it's like we came from the same place why are you doing this yeah that was so that's another thing like uh I had tons of family would add me on the internet. I think I deleted it because I was like, I don't even like know because it's my mom has a big ass family. It was like nine yeah. kids. Yeah. And like, I was like, I don't know. You sure she's Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> that was just that small town <laughs> Nebraska shit. No, in a small town, there's nothing to do. Yeah. So it's just like, I guess we having kids. Yep. We, we got to populate. The, we got to populate an eighteenth of this town, or it's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, I feel like a shithead because there's people who, and it, it, I can't explain this very well. There's definitely people who I've been friends with forever, but it's like you, you basically, it's people who have always throughout all these periods been like a friend, but not someone I hang out with, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they also interact with my sh- the stuff I post, and we do have a lot of the same interests. So I feel like oh, I should be like, we should be friends. Like it's, or should I just not give a shit? That's the other thing. Just I like, think you can't cares? force things. I think you can't yeah. because you can get along with those people maybe in certain capacities, but say or, long term. <laughs> or, or should I just re-add them, send them a message yeah. that says, "Hey." <laughs> I may or may not have deleted I, you. I think you're just thinking too much into it. Just re-add them. Just, just re-add them. If there's any questions, then you can be like, I don't know, man. I was going I, through I, stuff, I blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I got fucking hacked. I got, I got hacked. Somebody fucking hacked me and just deleted, like, specific people. Oh, man. No, just, yeah, just add them back. It, some people might not even make a deal of it. Some might gonna... be like, oh, did he restart his profile or anything? Who yeah. knows? Because that, that's another solution. Just delete my whole account and re-add or everybody. Just add them. <laughs> just add them. Because I'm not going to name drop, but there's very you famous have people. No, you have literally no malicious intent behind it. So just add that's them. That's true. Just add them. It's it really it, – just add them. You'll be fine. So especially throughout, like, the past, like, 10 to 15 years, there are people who, like – they didn't add me because they wanted something from me or because they wanted to do a show or they wanted this or that. Cause there were a lot of those, right? Yeah. So it's like, this is just a genuine human who I'm like, Oh, yeah. I'm better than them. You gotta, They're you gotta, human. you gotta break out of that mindset that there has to I be know. something to it. Just add them, man. That was, but that's, I think a lot of uh, creatives get locked into that shit where it's oh, like, very easily creatives because it, we can get very tunnel visioned with something. Yeah. We can be like, it's going to be this way or nothing at all. But I think every creative hat, well, Every creative who has had to struggle to get to where they are and has had to deal with real life while dealing with their creative person yeah. has has had to and needs to, for the betterment of themselves, figure out how to make that work. Because as a creative, we can get too locked in. But you can't get too locked in because even then you have to realize that as a creative, you're getting very emotionally attached to something. Oh, yeah. So you have to be able to draw yourself back and be like, sometimes this just is what it is. Like in real life, not everything has to have an emotional attachment. Sometimes things just are what they are. That's how we have to do with things creatively. Like it's hard because we're putting ourselves into it. But we have to take the lessons we learn from real life and apply that to our craft so we can become better at it. Because then when you're not at a slave to feeling a certain way, like now you're not tunnel visioned on your craft. Cool. Now you have all these other skills you can do to then better yourself, to make yourself stronger, and you can figure it out. Like you can figure out your craft a little bit easier. Maybe you had issues sitting down and solving things like, oh, if I have writer's block, I can't do this. But you're just making yourself sit there and write. And that's all you're doing is being stuck in a room. Yeah. And just, just, of course, you're not going to write because you're just looking at the same thing. Get out. Go for a walk. Or next time you're out, do something. Take a little bit of a longer drive. You might find yourself doing something and like just coming up with it. So you have to take those lessons that help. Like doing the things like driving or like mowing the lawn where you're very like focused. That's when I come up with like all kinds of shit. Mm -hmm. But I do uh, do a lot of my, I do a lot of my uh, brainstorming ideas during hikes. It's the best because I can zone out, enjoy everything. And my mind just starts flowing. Like that time I kept trying to make different Babadook movies. (laughs) It was Babadook in the hood was one. (laughs) 
Oh, we start seeing have... Leprechaun and Ernest movies, but with the yeah, Babadook. Yeah. Babadook in a hood, Babadook in space. Yeah. Yep. So here's an important question. Okay. Mm-hmm. How many times has my niece fought Chris Hero? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I know it's all in form of entertainment, but <laughs> she's gonna be. I'm like, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure with those hits, like she's gonna be like a world think, famous I athlete. Think she would, I don't think she would have sold him. I don't think she would have sold him. If I'm be honest with you, I don't think she would have sold him, and then the whole show would have been bad. She would have ruined the mood. She's more athletic though. She Chris, Hero done some, like, Chris Hero would have had a kicker for real, and then like that would have yeah. been completely. Yeah. Yeah, that's still the, out of anything. When anyone finds out I used to do stuff. Yeah, and they find that out. It's like, what? No, that's the one I push. Because I was like, <laughs> yeah, there's some stand-up, but it, most of it's fucking stupid. It's just, of, anytime I, just I, got this, I got this shit kicked out of me by Chris Hero at a show. I was like, this is the good one. We had, <laughs> for my new job, I usually don't, I barely talk. But they did, it was a bunch of gals. I work with mostly my team is almost entirely women and the energy is amazing okay so now with you saying that yeah keep track of that real quick of what you're okay. going to say because i just have a question with okay. you being the only dude in there yeah okay not that not that this or anything but would you be a little bit more aware of the wording and the verbiage that you use with them like you're, you wouldn't call you wouldn't like start your day with like hello mistresses or anything like that would you <laughs> i want to try that <laughs> hello hello ladies um so here's the situation okay there are, there are two other dudes but one barely ever talks and the other dude works like super early mm-hmm. so i pop in and i'm like what's up but i also bear i don't really talk i talk when i need to talk but uh it's also 20 so it's three dudes 20 some women and these women are all across the spectrum so they're different ages there's different ages different races different like everything every and it's awesome it's It's diverse hell yeah yeah it's wildly which someone in one of the meetings was like when are there things gonna be more diverse but that was in one of the other teams i was like come over come over here man yeah what are you talking about uh and I like being the token dude. It's great. We got, a 90, we got a 90s black movie going on over here where literally every race is in the movie. Yeah. like I want to. It's get not to like the, white Hollywood okay. where, oh, look, friends happen in New York in the 90s and there's only six <laughs> white people and all of this. But so here's something I have noticed. So my previous job, it was almost all men, all uh-huh. dudes. Uh, and I've noticed that my tone is different. Yeah. So different how so like can you describe how it's different when I'm with like a lot of dudes my voice is higher like I'm like hey what's up yeah oh mostly women like my voice especially in the morning because the other day when you get in we're all in like since everyone's remote we're in like a group chat thing and you pop in and say good morning or whatever yeah it's like good morning like I thought I said it normal and they're like. Man, your morning, voice, ladies. they're like you have such a good voice like all these <laughs> like you should be like you should like, do radio yeah, like, i get that a lot too and so like you should do a podcast and i was like haha I yeah right that. yeah i get that a lot too it's just like you should do so you have yeah. such great voice you should do something with your voice but then i was like consciously being like am i like being like hey <laughs> good morning ladies how is uh how's yeah. everyone doing this evening but i think it's me just that's how i sound in the morning and also <laughs> i don't know if i'm doing that purposely like if when i'm around uh, men, i'm like i'm like don't i'm not a threat <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i mean me i really do it depending on my mood like if i'm actually yeah. relaxed then i'll just keep more of my mellow downplayed voice like it's yeah. bassy i guess but it's fine if I'm a little like amped up or excited, I lighten my voice because if not, then I just sound like I'm aggressive and angry when really yeah. I'm not. So I have to be like, Hey man, so that we're doing this, this, that, 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 everything that sound good. Okay, cool. Instead of opposed to like, yeah, that sound good. All right, cool. Cause if I'm just yeah. like, yeah, does that sound good to you? Like, it just sounds like I'm intimidated. Like I'm not yeah. trying to. So, yeah, no, I've definitely noticed that. <laughs> that's, that's an interesting, it's a different yeah. energy too. It's just it's, me and the gals. We're it's just... what I, it's what, certain people would call like a form of code switching 
Yeah. Okay. You're just being you're it it's this it it's kind of the same principle, but you're just being aware of your tone and where you're applying it. So it's you know, like that a little sorry more. to bother you movie. Yeah. Which it, oh I need to make somebody watch that movie because that it's whole ass movie. The whole last third of that movie is like, where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> <laughs> what? If you, a can find, what? <laughs> if you can find someone that hasn't seen it, give them a little mushrooms. <sighs> Be like, we're gonna do mushrooms and watch this comedy. I don't think I don't think uh, I don't think my partner's seen it. Yeah, because that last part will knock their damn block off. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, "Where the fuck did this come?" I was in the middle of smoking too, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What's happening?" Yeah. So I think oh. I think we solved my problems. Did we? <laughs> okay. So fight so hold on, hold on. <laughs> let me let me let me just, let me try and go off the top of the mental since I have to try and remember lines again before we get back into what we did. Um. Yeah. So, definitely don't overstimulate yourself too much in the morning. Boom. Take all that energy stuff out. Put your focus, um, your focus mushrooms with your morning mix of supplements that you take. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the shake, Overdose the of horny goat weed. That erection might last more than four hours. Um, <laughs> yeah, so don't stimulate so yourself too much. Mix that yeah. around. Uh, if you need to take one ibuprofen in the morning after yeah. you take your shake. Yeah. And then take an ibuprofen either later on in the day or at night. As so I should you probably, eat. I should probably do the eat. shake and then the pills. Or no, most just pills do the ibuprofen. You're not because, to. But see, some of the, some of that stuff, especially if it's just like the powders and everything, you can yeah. take that to make sure that the like it goes down. At least okay. that's how I have to do it. But then you you're taking it so that way the pill is going down with something already. Gotcha. That makes okay. sense. So then, and then, yeah, do that later on while you eat too. Um, that way, if you need to take your two a day, if it still helps, try and split it and see. Also, with the uh, turmeric and all that in there, that will help with some inflammation and stuff. So maybe yeah. that kind of help. Uh, yoga always kind of helps. Yeah, brother. <laughs> some stuff up. Uh, all right, so we got that out of the way. Blah blah. Yep. Um, stop looking into it too much. Just add social your friends. media. Yeah. Just add. Just add them back. Um, stop. It doesn't matter how many followers your niece has. Hope as long as she as long as she remains safe and doesn't get yeah. captured or anything like that, then we're cool. Don't get then trafficked. Cool. Don't you yeah. dare. Don't, uh, we don't want this taken shit happening. Yeah, because then I have to be on like a Netflix documentary and I have to be like, you know, I'm just her uncle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't really know. Well, this podcast clip from 2021 <laughs> may seem. <laughs> So it's we just, decided to investigate further just, on Mr. Uh, Ian Douglas Terry. Oh no. A man a man who's hold alone in his apartment like some sort of weird <laughs> He's look at all these videos. Like, like some sort of weird weird hermit, modern day hermit who only dates Asian women. <laughs> <laughs> just wearing a kimono. <laughs> I'm blaming Nicholas Cage. You start growing your you start growing your hair back, and Nicholas Cage. You better uh, blame Tom Cruise. He's the one who did the Last Samurai first. Um, Bullshit but Nicholas is that. Cage, like he recently married a 26 year old gal from Japan. That's true. He did. Yeah. That's what true. A he did. What a beautiful weirdo. Hey, hey, bless him, bless him. At least it's not his stepdaughter, Woody Allen. Hey. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing a suck it. <laughs> anyway, well, if we, if uh, if uh, but Black we... Skin Damas has answered all of your questions for you today, that's our new segment. <laughs> I can't say it though. <laughs> the Black Skin Damas? Why not? I, it's gonna sound racist. I Do there's you know so many, many wrestling. Things. Oh, so I have a funny wrestling story. <laughs> so, all right, tell um, it. I put my name down, Black Skin Thunder, because that's just what I'm wrestling as down here. Because then I can just have fun, no pressure to be Mister Entertainment. Fuck all that. Yeah. Uh, I'll save that shit for either the cameras when I make money or when I make my own character when I eventually say fuck wrestling. There but, you go. Um, <laughs> I don't – like it's on my Instagram and it was just very innocent. But when I was telling them, I was like, oh, yeah, it's Black Skin Thunder. They must have misheard me and they wrote Black Skin Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's black skin the remote, thunder. The promoter apologized too. He's like, "Man, I'm so sorry. Like, I know how that could be." I was like, "No, nah, it's so good. I understand. Like, you don't necessarily hear it, but yeah. making people say it as an entrance is fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. They're like Mexican thunder. I yeah, oh, it's fantastic. They I gotta soften it. that er. 
I like. Well, see, I mostly just started wrestling as that down here because it's just like it's funny to make people say. Yeah. And plus, I can just be goofy and whatever and have no pre- preconceived notion about it. So whatever. <laughs> Let's just go. That's beautiful. So I like that you're still making white people uncomfortable. That guy, you have to. <laughs> Keep like, them on their toes. Not, not too uncomfortable where they're yeah. like feel threatened around me because like if shit has to get serious, you'll know. But just enough to where it's like I keep you on your toes now. I can, I can keep you on your toes. So you're like, here's my ring name, and they say it, and you go, "What'd you say?" Hey, my 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 family didn't inherit wealth, so until we get our piece of the pie, I'm gonna be a smart ass, and as you know, as long as the day is. And that's that's what you should do. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker can't. The worst thing you can do to stop my mouth is kill me, and no one's gonna take it to that level. So yet, anyway. And that's how to be a sweeter dude. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what do you, uh, what's uh, what are you into right now? What's going on with you? Oh man, I'm into way too much stuff. Yeah, I've been just like, and I I usually I didn't really notice, but it's like I watch way more stuff than most people. <laughs> Yeah, than a lot of people, and I play a lot of stuff, and so it's, uh, yeah, it might be a problem. I might. That's why I'm glad I'm getting into like the hockey stuff and like going outside. Something and physical shit. to go outside and do, yeah. Because it's like I don't need to watch every episode of everything ever. Like that's not what is that good? Like so, like it's yeah, it's, it's useless. It's fun, but uh, God, what am I into right now? Oh, there's some good uh. Good shows on Peacock. On the cack. Yeah, I got into the cock big time. <laughs> but I got it. I got it because it was it was really cheap and a lot of the WWE stuffs on there, and so I could watch. That but was didn't my. Thing. They edited a bunch of that shit. Like, yeah, but like, yeah. I don't know. There's still really good shit on there. Like just watching. Yeah. So I was watching every episode of Nitro starting from January first, nineteen ninety eight on. But I'd have that going while I was working. So yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, 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 it was very cool. That's the that way to or, do it. And then I was watching too much Dateline, where I was just like, I want to oh, find God. out who murdered this kid. But uh, see, there's... that's 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 what I tell one of my partners all the time. It's just like, why all these crime dramas and these shows? I just can't do it. It's just too much. It's just too it much really is. I don't. It's I, just too much for me. I, can't. I watched like a hundred of them. And I'm like, what is this? Fam, like, I know how the, I know how I know how dark the world is, and plus yeah. I'm already thinking of plots that involve like. Cthulhu and all these other but, yeah. ships and mythical demons and, and like, all that stuff. So like, I don't I like, need this. I like post-apocalyptic stuff, which might be like the same vein where I'm just very into the well. This could happen, brother. Like, I got to be ready. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of in the same vein, but yeah, also I mean, it's more of like a fantasy standpoint, not in the oh yeah, this actually happened six months ago. Yeah. I remember reading that kind of shit. But here's here's two good shows on Peacock that impressed me. I thought they're gonna be shitty because I just think everything's gonna be shitty anymore. First one's Resident Alien, which I think is like a sci-fi show, but it's also on Peacock, and it's that Alan Tudyk dude. Oh, and hey! Ba- and it's based on a comic book <laughs> about an alien trying to blend in here and stuff. And what impressed me is one, it takes place in Colorado, definitely not yeah. filmed here. It looked like it was filmed in like Vancouver somewhere. Probably, probably. Uh, and two, like the characters, <laughs> there's one, there's indigenous people heavily represented. Which both these shows have, which is something I'm yeah. very glad. Like shows are like, oh Natives, yeah, made it. Hey, yeah. people existed here before Columbus came. Yeah, and ruined history. Yeah, and then also <laughs> they just have like it. The, the characters are well done. Tudyk's great. <laughs> Alan Alan Tudyk is yeah. fucking great in everything he does. So Resident Aliens really good. The first season finished, it was great. And then oh Jesus, I'm gonna forget the name. Rutherford Falls. Rutherford so, Falls. I yeah. feel like I've heard of that. It's a Peacock original. It's that dude that played Andy on The Office, Ed Helms. Okay. When I, and when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I'm man. I like how you said Andy on The Office instead of uh, from the Hangover movies. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so there was a tear of everyone was trying to make the next Parks and Recreation. Of course. And there were some that were really. Because like, why be original? Yeah. But it was a lot of like what about a mayor and stuff like that but so i assumed that's what this was going to be and instead it's where he's (laughs) like the ancestor of the like dude that founded a town and Mm -hmm. he's obsessed with that history and obsessed with like maintaining all of it and then there's his best friend is a native gal an indigenous woman who's trying to build a cultural center in the casino 
that like the, the the rest of the indigenous people care more about the casino they're like yeah why would we care and so it's this great yeah. like what's our history all about where he like finds out bad shit about of course about his ancestors and it's of course very, it's very well done and very interesting nice Plus, there's, a, there's a fucking dude one of the native dudes who works at the casino has a fucking neck tattoo that's like a tomahawk and another weapon i was like that's fucking rules some badass dudes hell yeah fuck yeah. with him thumbs up for those shows there's good stuff <clears throat> I, nice. I just said i need to stop watching everything and there you go <laughs> nice what about nice. you what what are you into oh man uh well whenever i need to decompress and just not really focus on much getting uh frustrated and, and happily enjoying mortal Kombat and injustice there you go because you know forever fan of that shit there was, a, there was an article today about that video games they're d- learning more and more that it's like battles depression yeah because it helps your brain be like i'm achieving instead of i'm doing nothing with my yeah 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 no it does help <laughs> um mass effect legendary edition still i'll probably just get be at that for the rest of the time <laughs> as long as this pc yeah. as long as my computer keeps oh i got my computer working yeah. <laughs> well after running all the diagnostic and performance tests and all this <laughs> i fucking love it oh it's it's i love you you're so great there you go oh the I, joys yeah, thinking, the I'm joys of up, pc gaming I'm and about just up, running a pc in general i'm thinking about upgrading my shit again just because there's a lot of xbox exclusive games coming out within the next couple oh, years yeah that's right that are also pc but it's like yeah uh i might i mean at some point when i get to it i'll only upgrade it so that way i can import and export and edit 4k videos seamlessly and not have it go. be choppy as fuck yeah. uh, but until i get to a point where i'm doing that then this rig will work fine for how it is now Hell uh, yeah. other than that uh, i've been wrestling for doing some tapings for pro wrestling 2.0 up in orlando so that's fun um let's see what else i got going on i have I start filming with. I usually wait to announce these things, but these pe- like uh, the company, I'm, the pe- uh, the production company, I'll start working with actually is cranking their shit out. Like they film on a Saturday, and the Hell shit's yeah. out by like Tuesday. That's good. Like Monday, Tuesday. So it's like, oh fuck yeah, full episode. So uh, season seven of the Egos. It's a New York based comedy sketch group. So I will be part of their little Florida tryouts down here for this season. So it'll Hell be yeah. Well, not tryouts, but I'll be there. It's taking place in Florida this this season. Some of it is. So there you go. Yeah, it's there. It's that. So that'll be cool. Getting back into acting, that shit will be nice. Uh, getting monologues <laughs> and stuff ready. I've been doing a lot of uh, story and script treatments. So basically, just you know, I'm I'm getting it to where once something comes in my head or more ideas come in my head, I write them down and then I actually start writing them into a format where I can do de- where I'm doing detailed like plot um, detailed plot synopsis character breakdowns um nice. some things i'm trying to start storyboard storyboarding i'm trying to find a good program so i can oh, yeah. use it that way i can also um use this little great little drawing thing i use that for my computer so i can actually storyboard shit yeah. so that way i can have it broken down so that way when i get an agent i'll be like look i have all this shit i've been working on this whole time i'm tired go. of these fucking jobs let's get my <laughs> career going <laughs> because i'm talented god damn it and i've worked hard enough to deserve it so Hell yeah um yeah hoping to get a jump on that stuff and get that going i mean i know that's still the plan but shit's back open now and i'm switching my focus to acting as much as i am on wrestling other than that um shit i don't even know if i'm what whoa i feel like i'm watching something oh loki watching loki yeah yeah Uh, i haven't seen episode two yet but yeah it's good it's, it's i'm i'm that's fun obviously caught up on wandavision Caught up on uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. There you go. Captain America and the Winter Soldier now. <laughs> uh, and then other than that, man, that's really not a whole lot. That's some good shit. Not a whole lot. Yeah, that's about it. Trying to stay in shape. Hell yeah. That That's... Yeah. I'm trying to convince people I'm friends with now that like they should get in shape in their 30s and not wait till it's so much easier because <laughs> my I ass wish, is i wish Ooh. i would have gotten i wish i would actually got in shape in my teens because then it'd be easier now yeah but i've I always had a shitty metabolism and i've always had shitty like genetics just don't like me 
I literally am positive there was an entire decade where I did nothing physical. Like wow. nothing. Like nothing. I like look walked. back and realize how hard I physically worked, and I'm like, I shouldn't still be chubby. I still shouldn't be. <laughs> how much I've done and how and like how I've especially over the past eight years, specifically eight years, have adjusted my diet. Yeah. Fam, I was broke. I was eating maybe twice a day when I didn't even have a fucking job, and I was biking 20 to 30 miles a fucking day. How did I not? Anyway. Anyway. That's God's plan. I don't believe in God, so whatever. I say that where I'm wearing a fucking black metal brewery shirt. I'm like, hey, man, it's, it's God's plan. It's God's plan. Hell yeah. That all sounds like some pretty sweet dudes. Check out my deep voice. Yeah. Stick around for season three of Dude Sweep. Ian's going to break his ankle <laughs> rollerblading. We have to take a break because you're in the hospital for that. <laughs> Dude, I would still record. You'd see me with my leg up. <laughs> Fuck like, yeah. You better record. Like, hey. I still hey, have the other on. <laughs> Oh, then at that at that point, then we're just going to make the Patreon pop. <laughs> at, that, at that point, I'm like, yo, dude, if you're home all the time, fuck it. I'm quitting my job. Let's get this Patreon going in two months before I have anything to worry about. Oh, my God. That reminds me I got to catch up on Blind Boy Podcast. Oh, yeah. Got to. Got to. I, I haven't even really listened to – I don't even really listen to podcasts anymore because yeah. ads piss – Oh, speaking of ads, have you heard this shit about Spotify? Mm-mm. Oh, my – okay. Are we going to get ads? <laughs> But we ain't going to benefit from them. Awesome. <laughs> so basically, Spotify had this thing where since you've agreed to the terms and where you there might be like it might only be for podcasts who are actually profiting or anything like that. Yeah. But they basically have it where they could place ads at any point to any podcast on their platform anywhere based Dude. off of their algorithms. And it, you don't have a say on it. That's crazy. But also it's it's not. I mean, it's like it's crazy, but it's not surprising. It'll be it's funny so with, with ours because like because there's podcasts I listen to that are like murder podcasts, and it'll be jarring because all of a sudden it's like a commercial for like, hey, some, uh, yeah, the new Tupperware from the latest invention is coming. It's guaranteed to keep all your lasagna warm. No, <laughs> like it'll be, the, in ours, it'll be like a me undies ad that it just cu- <laughs> it cuts right back to me and me being like, I'm gonna fight my niece. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and or it would cut to me being against putting ads and into these anyway which by yeah. the way this whole podcast profiting off this podcast game got fucked up because so many of you stupid ass podcasters were taking little bum ass ads so i could quit my job and finally do something else you're dumb you're That's dumb why you didn't I... invest enough time or money into your own shit and you sold out for a little <laughs> bit of money and now guess what Everybody else gets fucked because you didn't know how to do business properly Listen, with it. You're like guys, musicians who got fucked over by Barry Gordy. <laughs> Listen, the, you workahol- the fucking Motown. The workaholics guys need that me undies money. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to their podcast. It's great. And why but the no, fuck are celebrities doing goddamn? I don't get why celebrities do ads. The, we could do a whole other episode about this because I listened to it. Blind Boy was on an Irishman abroad, and they talked about how. All these new podcasts are destroying podcast culture and making it impossible for independent podcasts. And that yeah. Patreon's the only thing keeping them afloat. But anyways. Oh, we can, should definitely make that a topic because then I can do more business reading into that yeah. shit and come in here and just get angry. Because once again, you fucking lazy bastards who don't want to actually put hard work into anything. <laughs> well, oh, no, a- I'll work hard for my nine to five jobs. So I can keep paying <laughs> bills, but I'm not going to actually bust my ass in this thing where I can just sit here and do it. But I just sit here and do it. So it's OK if you put the fucking work into it. Anyway. Are you mad at my niece too? What's going on? I hate I hate corporate America. I'm so fucking sick of working jobs. I think we'll do a future one about how to get rich making art. <laughs> That's perfect. But anyways, my name is Ian Douglas Terry. Uh, I think I still have a website. I forgot to put anything new on there, but there'll eventually be new stuff. I've just been distracted with being weird and rollerblading around. Uh, hey man, it's your s- life. Live it how you want dudesweetcast.com i eventually want to mess with that more it's just to any more because i talked to my mom about this i was like i used to be able to just sit and make shit like i'd make songs i'd make this i made zines and it was oh yeah because i didn't have a fucking phone i didn't have access to everything i could ever want and yeah that's my problem right now that comfort it's the killer but mm-hmm. maybe we'll have a new website maybe we'll have some cool stuff 
uh, who knows? Who knows? Someone we'll tries try. to give us money. <laughs> I'm still not. Trust me. Trust me. If I still come across that sugar mama, we getting paid. There it is. I, I'm an investment. God damn it. I, there's a chance I might a be. A, there's a chance I might be a millionaire when the next episode happens because Colorado's giving every Friday a million dollars to five people who got vaccinated. Oh God. Yeah. They've already done two, so there's three more. I could. And then I was thinking about. Oh, let's do a whole episode about if we got a million dollars, what we would do. That'd be a fun one. All right, we're going too I'll long. I'll tell you right now. I'm gonna buy. A, I'm gonna buy a Civil War musket. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll tell you right now. Very simple. I'll tell you right now. Very simple. Uh, I would probably. I would probably legitimately put about six hundred thousand dollars of that if I got a straight million dollars. Like it's not. It was already taxed, and that was the final payout. Yeah, I'd put six hundred thousand dollars into into some sort of savings where I can actually start accumulating go. and collecting. I would get land too, so that way I can start having something I can physically own, and then I would do investments so I can start getting passive and residual income from that very moment. There you go. So fuck all that. I'm not gonna go <laughs> buy no crazy ass house. I'm not gonna buy no stupid ass car. I'm not gonna buy no fucking jewelry. I'm getting something so I never work again, and I can own my own shit. All right, plug your stuff. Uh, <laughs> I don't do shit. Black Skin Thunder on uh, Instagram. Black Skin Thunder on YouTube. Yep. I just comment. I just now I'm really only active on YouTube comments and like some Instagram comments. Other than that, I fucking hate all of it. There you go. But uh, yeah, Instagram is probably the best way to keep up with what I do or my ramblings. <laughs> Hell yeah! That's about it. And that's uh, big gold. Suck it, yeah. <laughs> From- <laughs> and Mister e, Mister IDT, I will see you in person in July. Big old hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, dude. Sweet. All right, dude. Sweet. Yeah, all right, dude. Sweet. <laughs> Just more awkward, awkward dismounts. We're looking at each other, and we're still like, I don't know how this is gonna end. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> hell yeah. All right, hell yeah, dude. Sweet. <laughs>